going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force. We're going to pre-select categories from the card and then force hands in just those categories. This is a great exercise if you ever like to play in a competitive event where they pre-select categories. The first player to win a hand in that category will win a prize. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We are going to force three, six, nine like numbers and then singles and pairs. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. One, two, five in cracks, four, six, nine in bams, one, two, four, six, seven, eight in dots, pair two, pair four. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would try for the pair hand. We have two pair. If we can get a three dot and a five dot. Let's see what happens. We have no jokers. Let's try for the pair hand. So let's pass nine crack or nine bam, one crack. Let's see here, two, five, how about one, four, nine? That leaves two, five, six. Let's see what happens. No keepers, white dragon, pair hand. There is a three, six, nine pair hand with dragons. Maybe we can keep that if we get three, six, nine. Let's keep the six. Maybe pass two east and seven. Nine. That could work for the pair hand. We wouldn't need this or this. Let's see, we have like numbers here fives and an eight. I think I would probably let the six go. Dragons. Oh my goodness. Okay. Dragons. South and five. Let's let the nine go. Dragons. Three, six, nine dragon. There's six, nine dragon. <laughs> we have a long way to go. Okay, so for three, six, nine dragon, let's see, let's let the red dragon go. Seven, well, end of two. What we want are pairs though. Here's a green dragon now. Pair, we don't need it. Okay, so let's, let's see. Let's let the 
the two go, the nine, and the dragon. We want a three and a five specifically. Oh my goodness, look what we got. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, so we're going to let those go. We really don't need this one. Two through eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a three dot and a five dot. Let's pass these three. A one dot. Okay, one dot, nine, bam, dragon. I wouldn't pass a flower. Maybe as a plan B, we can play consecutive run. Ooh, maybe keep that. Consecutive run with dragons. If we get a five or a nine, maybe keep that. Let's pass two. Okay, we got the seven for singles and pairs. So we have really, really for singles and pairs, three discard, four discards. We need a three dot and a five dot in there. I think that was pretty a pr pretty good try for a single and pair hand. I would keep these for plan B though. Singles and pairs. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with force one. flower green and white so we have one eight nine in dots pair nine two six seven eight nine in cracks and a five bam if these were your tiles which of these would you force and what would be your first pass If these were my tiles, I wouldn't pick a category. I would gather. We could do like numbers with nines or three, six, nine. Gather three, six, nine and nines. Let's pass one, eight, five. A red dragon. That'll work for like numbers. We need a nine bam in here. Oh, look, we got an eight dot. Eight crack is in there. Here's one, two, seven, three, six, nine, like numbers with eights. Whoa. Mm. I think no matter how we slice that, it's going to be risky. For three, six, nine, Three six nine. There is a three six nine dragon hand with offsuit dragons. We have six nine nine. No three eights. I think I would let an eight go. So let's pass these three. We got a nine and a six. Still no three, but we have tiles we can pass. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> That's not gonna be helpful though, really, unless we play 
three, six, nine with dragons. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Dragons, flowers, three, six, nine. Let's see. What about three, six, nine in mixed suits? Here's a six. Here's the nine. So we need a three bam in here with flowers. Oh my goodness, do we pass that? Two dragons? Yikes. Dragons are all over this card. Three, six, nine, dragon, or like numbers with nines. Like numbers with nines. Hmm. We're kind of in between. I wouldn't pass a pair. I think this is the best we can do. And I wouldn't stop the Charleston either. I think I would keep going. And because of the flowers, hmm, wow, goodness, oh my goodness. Let's see, what if we did six, nine, dragon, six, nine, dragon. We need a three crack, third hand down, pair of flowers. We would have to pass that. Oh man, let's see here. We're in between three, six, nine and like numbers. We have no nine, we have no three. We have no nine bam and we have no three bam or three crack. We've got the dragons. We could still maybe try for like numbers with nines and dragons. but we would have to pass that. Nine crack, we need a nine bam. Nine bam, three crack. Oh my goodness, okay. I think I would pass this and go for like numbers. Oh my goodness, we got sixes and a three crack. Oh man, okay, now I want my six crack back. Well, really though, we have a six dot now there. So six, nine, three dot is what we would need with these dragons. And we just gave up a green dragon. Three, six, nine. We have a pong of nine dots. We only need a pair of nine dots if we play three, six, nine. But we're kind of in between three, six, nine, three, six, nine dragon. We can use jokers for the, th no, no, no. We need three pair, pair, pair. Oh man. Uh, let's see here. Okay, what about if we do, oh, I wouldn't pass like numbers with sixes. Three, six, nine, dragon. Let's see, three, six, nine. It's off suit. Three, six, nine, dragon. We would pass those three. We could still maybe do like numbers with nines, but here we have no gaps. Three, six, nine, dragon. Oh boy. All right, let's keep going. Oh, we're back to three, six, nine. Oh, we got a keeper, a three. Oh, okay, let's pass those three. Three, six, nine, dragons. Oh, wow, look. A six. Hey, this didn't turn out to be too bad. Let's see if we can get the nine crack. Is there a nine crack in there? There's, there's a green dragon in there. Let's pass these three. Oh, we didn't get the green dragon back. We got the nine. 
three discards and a hand, well, really four, four discards and a hand with no gaps. Three, six, nine. Would you have stuck with like numbers? Hmm. Like numbers. Nine. We already have our flowers. Green. We already have a green. Nine. There were no nine bams in there. The red dragon. So we gave up three tiles there. That would have helped us with like numbers. So we would have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Versus nine tiles. I think this was the way to go. Three, six, nine. I think I would keep maybe we could play that second hand down let those go that's five discards I would hold that for a little while okay now we have to force like numbers We need to force like numbers. Here's ones, dragons, sixes. Those go ones or sixes. Let's break up that. Maybe seven and four. Here we go. We need like numbers. South three, five, oh, three, three, like numbers. Let's pass these three. Wow. Don't pass a pair, especially dragons. <laughs> no. Okay. So we have threes or sixes. I would break those up. Either threes or sixes. We really don't need this. In like numbers, it's one of each dragon. Let's pass these three. A six. Oh my goodness, and a three. Okay, so we have threes and sixes. And ones. Wow, okay. We're going to optimize our potential to build threes or sixes. A three. Threes are the go. So one, no, six, one, eight. Like numbers with threes. We got a white dragon. Okay, here's a five. Let's, let's pass these three. I usually don't pass white dragons, but we need to, we need to optimize. And I was thinking, what if we get a five? So let's pass these three. Oh, we got the ones back. Okay. So we have two discards, joker bait, like numbers with threes. Let me know if you would have passed that way. Would you have gone with sixes or threes or ones? Let's just see. OK, 
Okay, there's the six. We need we needed dragons, but we have them. There's a five, a six. I think the choice was right. There's one, one. I think we made the right choice because we have a multiple in there. Gather threes. I think what I would also consider one, three, five in one suit. One, three, five dragon. It wouldn't be on the board, but it could be a winner just by happenstance. That's much better than like numbers. Maybe just keep those and see what happens with threes. If you would have done something differently here, right? Force three and what you would have done with these tiles. Forcing hands is a great skill to build if you wanna play competitively, but also just to ensure that you're comfortable playing throughout the card. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.